two-way binding gives components in your application a way to share data. The two-way data binding passes data in a bidirectional way, which means that data is passed from a view to a component and from the component to a view at the same time. This way of binding data is really useful to build dynamic and interactive web applications. The Angular's two-way binding syntax is a combination of square brackets and parentheses. So we do have parentheses inside square brackets. This syntax combines the brackets of the property binding. So we have seen that on the property binding, we do use the square brackets to define the property with the parentheses of event binding. And we have seen that when we want to bind an event, like for example, the click event, we do use the parentheses. In the HTML file, I'm going to remove all the code. I'm going to do the same on the TypeScript file. And then in here, I'll just define, let's say, a full name property. The value is going to be my full name. And then in the HTML, we are going to add an input tag. So input. And then on the input, we are going to define the two-way binding syntax, which is square brackets and then parentheses. I'm going to use in here the keyword ng model. So ng model, and then define the property that you want to bind your data to. And that was the full name property. So I'll just type in here full name. And then down below, I'm going to have a p tag, which is going to simply just show the full name. Now we do see that we have an error in here and the error says that you cannot bind the ng model since it's not a known property of the input. And for this to be used in inputs, we need to go to the app.module.ts and then scroll down in here on the imports where we have the browser module. We're going to import another module, the forms module. And the forms module belongs to the Angular forms. Let us save the change in here. Let us go back to the app component.html and you can see that the error is gone. Now, on the full name, I do see that we have a syntax error. The full name needs to be inside both brackets. Let us save the changes. And now let us just go to the browser. And here we do see the input text and we see the result. If I change the text to, let's say, this is just a sample text, you are going to see that the text is updated in real time. So let me type in here, for example, my first name and last name, test, Angular app. You are going to see that whatever we type in the input in here, it's going to be reflected down here. And this is why two-way data binding is really useful to build dynamic and interactive web applications because you do get the feedback in real time without having to click a button or without having to reload the page.